My name is Miss Cheryl, and I'm going to read you a fairy tale story today. And I'm going to read that from this book, Corky's Five Minute Fairy Tales. My sister-in-law, Pat, wrote this book. She took long fairy tales and made them real short so that you can read them in about five minutes or so. That way, if your mom or dad or your brother or sister or maybe your babysitter only has a few minutes to read a story for you, or maybe you're too tired. Sometimes you're just too tired to stay awake for a whole fairy tale. So this way you can get just a short story and still get your bedtime story before you fall asleep. And uh, this is a companion book to go with this beautiful mural that's behind me. And Corky was Pat's mother-in-law. And many, many years ago, Corky painted a beautiful mural that was huge, takes up a large part of a wall. And Pat and her husband, John, printed up these smaller murals because it's so much fun to try to find all the different characters. There's 86 stories in here. That means there's 86 different stories on this mural. And it's fun to try to find the different characters. Uh, let's see. Well, as a matter of fact, we've got Aladdin and his magic lamp up in that corner. And here's Sleeping Beauty. And, uh, oh gosh, Beauty and the Beast. Okay, we've got Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, and oh, here's Cinderella in her coat with uh, all the white horses pulling it along, and of course we know that was a pumpkin and six white mice before the fairy godmother changed them. Uh, oh, here's uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and oh, we've got the Pied Piper here with all the children following behind him. Okay, goodness, so many. Oh, up here we've got uh, Jack and the Beanstalk, and the Beanstalk goes all the way down the side. So, yeah, like I say, it's just fun to try to find all the different characters in the story. Now, the story I'm going to read today is called The Little Red Hen. And I've got this little red hen to show you because I don't have a real chicken coop in the backyard with a real chicken to show you. But for our little people who might not know the difference between um, uh, chick the chickens, there's a boy chicken called a rooster, and then the girl chicken who lays the eggs, and she's called the hen. So I just wanted to show you a little bit about that. And believe it or not, my hen is a little red hen, but I think the light from the camera is making her look a little bit white. But she is a little red hen, and she's my little baby. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, read our story today, which is found on page 117 of Corky's Five Minute Fairy Tale Book. And we'll read the story. The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen and her chicks were scratching around the barnyard for food one day. Oh, look, my little ones said the little red hen, a grain of wheat. I shall plant it, and one day we shall have bread from it. Brock, 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 brock. When the wheat was ripe and golden, the little red hen went to her friends in the barnyard. Brock, 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 duck. Will you help me reap the wheat? Quack, 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 not I, said the duck. I am going swimming. Quack, quack, quack. Well, the little red hen then went to her friend, the cat. Brock, 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 cat. Will you help me reap my wheat? But the cat yawned and stretched. Oh, meow, not now. I am tired and just want to curl up and take a nap, purred the cat. The little red hen then went to the pig. Quack, 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 pig. Will you help me reap my wheat? She asked. Oh, no, I must take a bath now, for I have been wallowing in the mud, <coughs> oinked the pig. Brock, 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 well, then I will just do it myself, said the little red hen. She worked and worked, but she reaped the wheat by herself. Now it was time to take it to the mill to be ground into flour. Maybe she could get some help with this. She went to her barnyard friends again. Brock, 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 will you help me get this wheat to the mill? To be ground into flour, duck? The little red hen asked. Quack, 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 not I, for I am going to fly high in the sky. Quack, 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 quacked the duck. She went to the cat. Quack, 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 will you help me get this wheat to the mill, cat? She asked. Meow, meow, no, I am going to sharpen my claws. Meow, meow, meowed the cat. She went to the pig. Will you help me get this wheat to the mill? 
No, I must eat my lunch now, oinked the pig. Quack, 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 well then I will do it myself, said the little red hen. Then she put the wheat into the wheelbarrow, and she and her little chicks trudged the long road to the mill. The miller ground the wheat into flour. Now it was time to go home and bake some bread from the flour. The little red hen went to the duck. Brock, 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 duck, will you help me bake my bread? She asked. Quack, 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 not now, quacked the duck. I am going to the pond with my friends, quack, quack, quack. She went to the cat. Brock, 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 will you help me bake my bread, cat? She asked. <sighs> oh, no, meow. I am ready for another nap, <sighs> purred the cat. These don't sound like very good friends, do they? She went to the pig. Brock, 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 pig. Everyone is too busy to help me make my bread. Will you help me? She asked. <coughs> no, I am trying to uncurl my tail. <coughs> Oink the pig. Brock, 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 well then I shall do it myself, said the little red hen. And she did. She kneaded and punched the dough and put it in her little oven to bake. What a delicious smell it made. Brock, 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 brock. now who has time to help me eat the bread? She yelled out over the barnyard. Quack, 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 I will, yelled the duck, and he waddled as fast as his little legs would go. Meow, meow, I will, yelled the cat, and he came on the run. <coughs> I will, yelled the pig, and he ran so fast, his tail uncurled. Quack, 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 oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. Quack, 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 I planted the seed by myself. Quack, 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 I reaped the wheat by myself. I took the wheat to the mill with only my chicks to help me. Quack, 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 I baked the bread by myself. Quack, 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 now my chicks and I will eat the bread by ourselves. Quack, 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 quack. And they did. The end. And the moral of the story is, if someone asks for help, be a helper. Jump right in there and help them because who knows, maybe someday you'll need help. And wouldn't it be nice if someone helped you? We hope you enjoyed our little story today and we hope that you'll come back and join us again. If you would like your own copy of Corky's 5-Minute Fairy Tales, it's available on Amazon.com. And if you'd like a copy of the mural, you can go to fairytalemural.com and find out how to get one. Again, we hope you have a wonderful day, and we hope you come back and join us again. Bye-bye.